Time to get things back to the podium. Here is the commissioner, Kathy Engelberg. With the first pick in the 2024 WNBA draft, the Indiana Fever select Caitlin Clark, University of Iowa. Well, Caitlin Clark hugging her family, her brothers, Blake and Colin, her father Brent, her mother Anne, and heading to the podium. She is officially a member of the Indiana Fever after as decorated a collegiate career as we have ever seen. Caitlin Clark, now a professional. And I'm gonna start by saying, just because it was a fact that we all knew this was coming, it doesn't make it any less special. Special is the way you describe Caitlin Clark. First player in Division One history, men's or women's, with 3,000 points and 1,000 assists. She makes the right reads, she finds her teammates, she plays with an attack mentality, and like I said earlier, you're in constant conflict with yourself defending Caitlin Clark. Welcome to the WNBA. We talked about her reign. She made 283 shots from 25 feet or more throughout the course of her career, more than double any other player in that time frame. And some of the questions are, well, is she going to still be allowed to play like that when she gets to the pros? Lynn Dunn said, why would you change that? This is an Indiana Fever team that is going to embrace everything about the way Caitlin Clark plays. Caitlin Clark, the first pick of the 2024 WNBA draft. And now State Farm is taking us to Holly Rowe, who is with Caitlin Clark. Well, Caitlin, you write this goal down when you're a little girl, but it's a different reality when you hear your name called. It's kind of coursing through you right now. I got a little anxious there before the pick, but I think more than anything, just grateful and lucky to have my family here, my friends over there, coaches up here. So um, I think just enjoying the moment. Uh, like you said, like I've dreamed of this moment since I was in second grade, and it's taken a lot of hard work, a lot of ups and downs, but uh, more than anything, just trying to soak it in. I think one of the things we lose sometimes when we talk about you is this has taken a lot of really hard work to be standing here. What is the work you've put in that you are proud of to be in this moment? I think the biggest thing is like I always just believed in myself. I went to Iowa with the goal of taking us to the Final Four. We did it twice. We went to two national championships, four Big Ten championships. Yeah, there's my teammates. They're pretty awesome. Um, and I think just a belief in myself and my parents always instilled confidence in me. Uh, from a young age when I was a young girl, and I, I think that's something a lot of young girls can um, learn to have, and I think people supporting them certainly helps. So, um, yeah, I think the biggest thing is the confidence, but I told my mom before this is like, you know, I earned it, and that's why I'm so proud of it. You did earn this moment. The Indiana Fever, I know people are going crazy in Indiana for you right now. This is a once proud franchise that have got to get back to winning ways. What will you bring immediately that will translate to this league that will help them win? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is like, they have such a good roster and that's what I'm excited about. Um, like you said, like they're a winning franchise. Um, you know, I'm excited to get there. I'm excited to get to Indianapolis. I know there's a lot of people, Aaliyah right here. I know there's a lot of people at Gainbridge uh, tonight supporting us in the, in the picks that we're gonna make. So, um, you know, I know they'll be supporting all summer long. You gotta buy your tickets now. I know it'll be a hot ticket, but um, I think the biggest thing is uh, just do me, have fun, smile. Um, I've loved playing basketball since I was a young girl, and that's not going to change. Okay, last question. You love writing down the goals. We know that from your goal sheet. What will be a number one goal this season? Man, I think the biggest thing is just be myself and have fun. Um, and if I do that, I think the rest is going to take care of itself. Okay, I thought you were going to say win, but we'll take, we'll take that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Caitlin exchanging a hug with her head coach, Lisa Bluter. Did such a wonderful job getting Iowa to back-to-back -back national championship games. And 